Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about tangents to circles. So here I have my circle centered at P passing through Q and I have line XY. Now given a line and a circle, the line might not intersect the circle at all. It might intersect the circle twice and between not intersecting at all and intersecting twice, there's this singularity, this moment where the line intersects the circle exactly once. And that is called a point of tangency. So in this situation, when the line intersects the circle exactly once, that line is called a tangent line, and that point of intersection is called the point of tangency. Tangents are very important features of circles, and we're going to explore some of the important properties they have. So notice that uh, I'm going to construct the points of intersection between this circle and this line right here, points A and B. And as I suggested, as you move the tangent around, you see those two points intersecting the, the two points of intersection of the line and the circle. And as you move the line up, the two points get closer and closer and closer together until they vanish because the line no longer intersects the circle. But there's this one moment where the line intersects the circle exactly once. And that point of tangency is special because that point of tangency is a place where the tangent line is perpendicular to the radius at that point. So let's draw a, or construct rather, a, a perpendicular line and that point of intersection right there. Now the claim is that when you have a point of tangency, or when you have a tangent line to a circle, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. Now the proof of this is a, is, it's a neat proof by contradiction. I'll provide a complete written proof in Google Classroom and you can take a look. But the gist of it is this. Assume that this wasn't a right angle and then find a place on the line where the line segment between the center and that point did make a right angle. It's hard to sort of imagine it here because you can't see that it doesn't look right. But try to suspend your disbelief and imagine that this were a right angle. What that would mean is that this would be the hypotenuse of this triangle. And so this would be longer than this segment. If this segment were shorter than this, that means that this is shorter than the radius, which would force this point to be inside the circle. And if that point were inside the circle, this line would actually intersect the circle twice, once here and then once on the way out. That would be a contradiction with the definition of tangency. So again, I'll provide a written proof of that, but that's the, the basic idea of why uh, tangents are perpendicular to radii at points of tangency. Now, a remarkable feature about tangents is that when you construct them to a circle from a point, these two tangents are going to be congruent. So when I say these two tangents, what I mean is these two tangent segments. So let me construct the intersection here and here. Now, the claim is that XA is congruent to XB. These are the two tangents from point X to circle P. Now, one way to understand that these two segments are congruent is to draw this line through X and the center of the circle and observe that this is a line of symmetry for this diagram. Basically, everything that's happening on this side is happening in the same way on this side. These two points are reflections of each other, therefore XA has to be congruent to XB. That's an informal way to think about it. A more formal way is, as often we do, we construct radii to points on the circle, in this case the points of tangency. Now, by the important fact we just discussed, these are right angles, which means that these two triangles, XPA and XPB, are congruent by hypotenuse leg. The radii are congruent. This is congruent to itself by the reflexive property, and these are right angles. These two triangles are congruent, therefore XA is congruent to XB by CPCTC. So this is known as the two tangents theorem, meaning that the two tangents 
from a point to a circle are congruent. And it's also sometimes referred to as the dunce cap theorem because it kind of looks like a dunce cap if you're familiar with that shape. Lastly, there are tangents, there are different kinds of tangents. So for example, you can have tangents from a point to a circle, but you can also have tangents between two circles. These are called common tangents. For example, these are called the common external tangents to the two circles, and these two lines are called the common internal tangents to the two circles. As in all cases, the tangents are characterized by this single intersection at each of the circles, and these tangents have lots of interesting properties that we will explore through problems over the next few days.